Miss Priscilla, okay, because I just want to address you by your name. That's all. We're your brothers, all right? We're not going to bite you. I've seen you before. Have you? Yeah, but. I've Did we tell you not to put on pet? Go back. Cause we so you can we gonna catch you up, sister. We're gonna catch you up, Miss Priscilla. Well, I'm in trouble. You ain't in trouble, sister. You know what? Today, today, today we're gonna give you a blessed gift That's from right. God. Okay. Right? Oh, the good news, like Sister Mary, I mean um Maria said. Okay. All right. You got it? Yeah, come back. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which retaineth or to a man. What's that? Pants. Pants. We talked, God is instructing us how to dress, right? Because we were just coming out of what? Slavery at this time. Well, you don't like the way I'm dressed? No, ma'am, I don't. Watch this. I'm going to show you that God don't like it. Read on. You listening, Mary? I'm um, not dressed like a hooker or a hoe. Listen carefully. I'm it doesn't matter. Because we, because she, see, she all caught up. You see, she ain't bugging out. She got on pants too, sister. But she's caught up. So just catch up, okay? We're going to help you. Along the way, because guess what? Leslie, dressed. I mean, Sister Priscilla, Miss Priscilla, we're going to help you out according to God, not me. The way I'm dressed? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. You can't yes, me the way to dress. Okay. I put on what I want and put on. I believe I you, and that's how you are here like this. I believe, this I believe I you believe what you're saying. Come on. Verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman you shall not answer. with that which pertaineth unto a man. Listen. listen. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So just like men, Miss Pr Miss Priscilla, Miss Priscilla. What? Listen carefully, okay? Don't distract the sister. Listen carefully. You don't listen carefully. So it's, the Bible says the man shall not put on that which pertains to a woman, just like the woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. That's what the Bible say, right? Now why? Let's see if it's my opinion or God has an opinion. Read. For all that do so, for all that do so, for the women that want to wear that which pertains to a man, and the men that want to wear that which pertains to a woman, so for all that do so, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So you might think that this is just my opinion, Miss Priscilla. It is not. Long before I had an opinion, long before I was thought of, this Bible existed. And guess what else? Long before I was thought of, this is what our people claim they love. We claim we love God. We okay. claim we do. But I'm reading the Bible. You I'm just never listen. What did I call Miss Priscilla? When the way and how Sisters, wear. brothers, when did I call I her? Sister. Sister, that's I all I called you. I but God says all that do so are an abomination. You understand? God says this. I'm just, I'm the messenger. I'm the messenger. Understand? God says for all that do so are an abomination. And guess what else, Miss Priscilla? You don't see me out here dressed like a woman either. While I'm telling you, you don't dress like a man. you won't be dressed like a woman. All right? So get now, now, now get me, because I want to show uh, Mary, Ma, Maria, what's precious. I want to show Maria how precious she is. Right? Watch this. Do you see me dressed like a damn man? Uh huh. I got on my oh, back. Okay, right, 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 right. Listen, I listen, listen. Listen, Miss Priscilla, you got babies? You got children? Don't worry about my kids. Damn, see? They see, listen. Already grown. If you got kids, if you got kids, right? And one of them you come in, your kids. boy, yes, I got many kids. Uh, if your boys oh, come you in, your boys come I in. Got three and they already grown, been through college. Yeah. So what did you talk about? Good. So do you talk them how to dress, yes or no? Yes and or no? They know what to do. Yeah, you, so you taught them what to do and how to dress. That's all God is trying to do with his baby. That's what, listen, brothers and sisters, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. That's all God is trying to teach you. That's all your father is trying to teach you. How to dress. Okay. You're not so breathing, sister. Come on. Yes, Where you at? No, you're not. Huh? No, no, no. Come on. Give me um, Ezekiel. Give me Ezekiel. Because Mary, Mary, I said that I'm going to show you what's precious, didn't I? I said I'm going to show you what's precious. God said that you're precious. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 7. I mean, 7 and 6 first. First. Let's get it. Because we're going to build. We're going to build on something. You understand? I don't want to just say, listen, nothing coming out of our mouth is our opinion, our feelings. You understand? It's from God. I'm going to show you that in the Word of God, in the Bible. You understand? We left basic instruction before leaving earth. That's right. That's right. And we lack that right now, sister. We lack basic, basic instruction. Are you kind of preacher or pastor of what church? You tell me, sister. Come on. I don't know where you from. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art holy people. This is for Miss Priscilla as well. Read it again. 
For thou art an holy people. God says that you are an holy people. You, the Israelites, are a holy people. How do we know who God is talking to? What is it? One and one. Give me one and one. Real quick. Hold what you got. Just so that we know he's talking about you. I'm going to prove that you are the people of the Bible. Where the sign at? Right here? I'm going to show you that you make up the 12 tribes of Israel. I'm going to prove it to you today. We're going to prove that. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All who? All Israel. Because Moses just brought us out of Egypt, right? So who is he talking to in the Torah? The first five books of the Bible. He was talking to the Israelites. The same people we just saved from slavery. The first, the Not the first time, but one of the times they went into slavery, right? Well, that was, that was the first time Israel per se, but you get what I'm saying. Where you at? Come on, watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people. God says you are holy people. You are holy people. You are holy people. What does holy mean? Hold that, get Romans. Give me Romans 7. What is holy? What is holy? This holy, well, there's more to it than that. There's more to it than that because if God, obeying, did, when you have, that's right. That's what it is. That's what holy means. What, what are you to obey of God? His commandments. His commandments. So if you have a child, a, a daughter or, or a young man, a son, and he, you give him, listen, don't be stealing out my purse. Don't be out here killing people. Don't be out here gangbanging. If he don't listen to what you say and do what you tell him to do, what you going to do after a while? You going to put him out. You going to put him out, meaning he's not your son anymore. In mine, in, in what, you know, history, historically, he's your son. But he is not your son no more. You understand what I'm saying to you? The same way God dealt with us. So it's when we listen, like you said, uh, Leslie Ann, it's when we listen, when we become holy. All praises. Watch this. I got one question. I'm going to prove it. Hold on real quick because we're showing something else right now. Watch this. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. The law is holy. As God said, we are to be, right? Watch this. And the commandment, holy and just and good. Jump back. So now we know what, what it is when he says, thou art in holy people. You Israelites are a holy people. You are a holy people. You understand? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. Why? Because everybody got opinions. Everybody says, well, this is right or this is wrong. But God says that we're holy unto him. So what he says is right. What he says is wrong. That's what we deal with as to if we're holy or not. Read it again. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God chose us. God chose us. The Israelites. We're the chosen people. Watch this. To be a special people. What does special mean? What does special mean? Come on, I want you to answer some stuff because we can't just keep relying on I'm Leslie Ann. She's answering everything. I'm listening because I All right. need you, so I'm just listening. All praise. I love God. All praise. I just came to America. Be, okay, be, be careful what you say now. <laughs> I got you, though. I got you. But it says, for we are special, it's just like we're holy, just like we're chosen, right? So then he says we're special. So what does special mean? You have a whole bunch of items, right? Say you got nail polish, right? You have a, maybe, uh, my wife, she has like hundreds of colors, right? But... How many favors do she have? One. She got one that's special to her. Right? The one, one that's, she liked the, the, the one she liked the most. You understand? So God says that the Israelites are like that to him. So we're holy, we're chosen, and we're special. Watch this. To be a special people unto himself. All for him. All for him. We ain't supposed to deal with no other gods. Read. Above all people uh -oh. that are upon the face of the earth. Bring so God out. says, I love you so much. You are more special and you are above everybody on the face of the earth. God, the creator of everything, said that about you.
but you would sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.